Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Mali. I gotta record this pretty quick, because I plan on streaming in a little bit to uh, stream some more Civilization VI Gathering Storm for you guys, but I figured it would be fair for me to go ahead and make an episode. Um, there's gonna be less episodes. Uh, I had planned to release more, but I realized um, I'm gonna be streaming, so I should probably put out less episodes because streaming takes up to like 10 hours a day, sometimes 12, sometimes 13 hours. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way towards industrialization. We're also going to be building a builder in here. We built this builder. Let's have a look at what we could do to improve the local terrain. I'm thinking we might put a couple of mines over here because these are already really, really, really good tiles. I am still in a golden age, um, and I could spend my faith on builders, and I might just go ahead and buy a couple of builders um, to sort of round out the end of this era. Where can I use a builder is the real question I need to ask myself. Uh, I could definitely use another builder in here. That was a gold purchase. That was not what I meant to do. I wanted to do faith purchase. Wait a minute. There it is. And I'll get one over here in gen. They are cheaper to purchase, so I may as well spend all my money on builders right now, actually. Now that I think about it, too. They're cheaper to purchase in this era. So I'm just going to get rid of all my cash for builders, too. There you go. Uh, all right, we have a builder over here. What else do we need to do? This city really needs to grow. Uh, once it grows one more population, it will have access to another district. So I want to work something that will take about seven turns. Um, it might be a good idea to pick up, for example... Just put some turns into, like, a horseman. Make the horseman, it'll take a little while, but it'll be fine. Can you get into the water? Um... Scout over here, cavalry. My spearman has made it to the next continent, which is really, really helpful. God damn it, leave me alone. Um, Alright, we got a skirmisher here. This one was going to be sent on a scouting mission. We... Have some choices about how we want to proceed in here. Um, now, our current goal is to go for a scientific victory. But I picked up this theater square to get my culture up a little bit. <coughs> we'll put a mine over here. Uh, I have a second builder. We want to chop. No, we don't. We want to... Ah, I guess we can chop. It's no problem. It's fine. Uh... We'll harvest. We definitely want to put, um... We definitely want to put, uh, forests on here. So we're probably going to go urbanization into conservation. So we can lay some forests along these rivers. Um, I think that would be pretty good. A couple forests here, a few forests here. I'm going to put some pins down to remind myself. Uh... Forest. That's lumber mill. So I just remember not to uh, do that, because we're going to want lumber mills along the sides. And I don't think uh, farms are going to do a huge amount for us. What could this be? I guess I could build an Arkansas there, or I could just harvest. Uh, right, we have a builder over here. There's another builder. I'm going to slap down Alcazar's here, just for the two culture, because that it's basically like getting a specialist slot for the, what you call it, uh, theater square. Now, uh, campus would be a good move. I think I want to place it there. That was a waste of a builder charge, but whatever. So we have our holy site and our thingy, so let's get our campus down. Then over here. Where's Nazca? I need to make friends with Nazca. That's who I really need to make friends with. So I need a couple more points to get uh, up here. Religious conversion, trade a privateer. Do I have privateers unlocked? I could trade a privateer. I'm going to train a priv privateer. Uh, let's see. Can I find a city with a decent production line on the coast? It's got to be Segu. A 38 turn privateer. Hell no. 38 turns. Like, look how little production these guys make. It's kind of absurd. 
Um, <clears throat> I could put a mine over there. I will. Um, well, really, this city is probably better off using the C for growth. Uh, really needs a harbor. Really badly needs a harbor. So let's go ahead and keep chopping there. Very sorry for that noise in the background. Nothing I can do about it, just people have decided that today is the day that they make noise when I'm recording. So yeah, we're going to get rid of this purely so we can get our uh, harbor up a little bit quicker. Looks like we got a, a golden age. I'm going to go to grab reform the coinage now because that's really, really powerful. It'll allow us to get even more gold from our trade routes. Speaking of which, we have room for more trade routes potentially. I'd like to faith purchase another bank. I will gold purchase some traders. Although this isn't the city that I want the traders in. It's fine. Uh, we're going to pick up the monument. Um, and we are going to build <clears throat> um let's see we got a horseman in here so we'll put that there put that to sleep I'm thinking we will get a hmm I guess we could just spam builders in here, that's fine. Start turning all this terrain into useful mines. This is going to be... Uh, forests, this is going to be forests as well, so I may as well start cleaning out that those tiles. Uh, I want to trade internationally, so let's make sure we organize this by gold. And we will... Granada is 13 gold, whereas this is 30 gold. Granada, I think it's worth it to get the envoy with them. Because that envoy is worth one gold per turn for the rest of the game. Um, depending on how I manage to pull off my stuff. We'll go there. Skirmisher. Send them down here to do a little bit of exploration. Head you up there. Alright, we need to escape with this guy. Try and make it home. Spearman keeps exploring. Uh, we completed the stupa in the capital. So that's basically a fully built uh, place now. We could work on a wonder here. We could get the Kilwa. Taj Mahal is always an option. I think we're going to go for the Kilwa. Um, and then we might switch to another district if we want to. We might go for an industrial zone in here. There's a pretty good industrial zone, like, right there. It's got, like, a lot of adjacency if I put it right there. Uh, workshop, for sure shop. Let's go ahead and purchase that. You need builders. Let's buy a builder and then build a builder. There's 42 gold in them hills right there. Hell yeah. Let's chop there. Chop there. Finish the university. Unfortunately, it is a university up against a thing. Um, so we have a holy side of campus and a Saguba. Entertainment complex would be useful. Where do we put the entertainment complex? If I, well, also, an industrial zone right here is pretty good. So we'll place that there. We'll get to work on the temple. We want to get that up and running. Let's go here. Holy fuck, dude. My brother decided that right now, at this instant, was like the right time to do a workout upstairs. And he just... <laughs> there's no stopping him. He's doing it. All right. So that's just whatever. Right? We're just going to play with all that noise in their ears. Because I just... I don't have the time to not... I don't have the time to re-record this, unfortunately. So we'll chop there. Unit needs orders. 
that sucks, but it is what it is. Sorry, guys. This is like the the current situation that I'm in. Let's praise be to G praise be to the YouTube gods that one day I'll make enough money to be able to move out on my own <laughs> off of YouTube money. All right, let's go ahead and I can't put up mine here because it's a flat lab tile, which means that's actually a pretty good industrial zone tile right there. Let's grab that tile and move there. Go to the next turn. Here we go again, boys. Yeah, nice. My apostle. So sending this guy up here was a waste. And so we confirmed basically that we should never ever do that. And it's never ever worth doing. And we will just never ever do that again. Uh, we can faith purchase the bank. Let's get ourselves a builder. Just continuously building builders and stuff like that. I'd like to purchase the shipyard. It'll take 39 turns to build. It's a little bit too long for me. Uh, the plus one from the Seguba. Uh, the Seguba doesn't quite get the adjacency that you normally want from... Harbors, but that's okay because we can put it there and then put like the holy site there or something. Let's see, where's where's the holy site best situated? Probably right there. So that means the Seguba is probably best going right there. Put the holy site there. Uh, we'll work on the Seguba in here. We'll continue to develop these cities. Uh, let's go ahead and do I want an aqueduct in here? I don't think so. I already have the housing and stuff like that. Let's uh, get the granary. Here we go again, boys. He's making that noise. And build a monument. Uh, we want some more mines in here for production of gold. I don't think we want farms in here. Is this floodplains? We can't put forest on floodplains, so that's something important to keep in mind. Uh... Fortify. So two, one more turn for this city. More mines over here. Yeah. There's a couple of good spots for industrial zones. This one's better though. In my opinion. <clears throat> I don't know who owns that. Who, who owns that goddamn tile? That's not the city I wanted to chop in. I wanted to chop out the harbor. Well, shit. It's the way the thing has crumbled now. Human nature has manifest. Alright, Governor Title, Contractor, Divine Architect. We have all the stuff that we need. We could probably pick up Liang for a few extra builders. Um, let's assign Liang down to uh, probably Kay's here. It's going to be the place we put her. Maybe get some fisheries and all that sort of stuff going. Get some gold stealing going. Uh, we are going to put the mine improvement right here. We're also going to go ahead and put a forest shop right there. We want to get that bank up. Just afford it, just barely. Uh, let's get the stupa. Let's get the stupa. We do need the amenities. We're a little bit light on amenities in here. We're going to go ahead and keep chopping there. We're going to chop here, get that builder. This builder can be... The hell was I building over here? University of Saint Cor. Oh shoot, I should have chopped that out. Oh well. God damn. Well, whatever, just get a spy for me. Alright, let's keep going and doing this stuff. Uh, let's see. Nothing I can do on this tile or any of these other tiles. I can go ahead and improve those horses. That's fine. Let's keep exploring here. We almost have urbanization, which is not a super useful 
thing to have, but it might be useful to uh, to get those. I can't really afford to purchase any districts right now, as much as I want to. I want to purchase districts in here, for example, um, when it gets a little bit more developed. Uh, what I actually need is to just like get more gold. Right now we're making a thousand gold per turn, which is not enough. We need more. Put a mine there. We'll go ahead and go to the next turn. I don't want your deal. You can't have my olives. My olives are mine. Get out of my face. So the question is, do we continue here or do we start on a new district? Oh, God. That's a mega colossal. So there's industrialization with coal available to us. Let's make sure we find coal. We have one source of coal over here. And we have another source of coal. Over here, we already have it improved, so we are getting six coal per turn, which feels pretty damn good. Um, what I'm going to do... I really want this. Oh, plus six over here. Hey. Can I take control of this tile and put a industrial zone right there? That's also a plus six tile. The question is, um, do I prefer this plus six or this plus six? see what would this reach instead well these basically reach all of the same cities this one however would one two three four five six really one two three four five six it won't reach Pex. pesh um it's a little bit easier to defend with um You can't even work all these mine tiles. I've oh, got enough population. Alrighty, 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 ready. So we have industrialization now, we have access to coal, we have plus one production from mines, and we can get to work on some of the other stuff. For example, uh, it might be a good move here to pick up railroad, ironclads, and Panama canals. Uh, all that sort of stuff. I'm trying to think about what exactly it is that we need to get to. Really, we need to get research labs. We need to get our power up and online. Uh, what I'd really like to do here is purchase a factory and then purchase a coal power plant in a turn. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. So this factory will provide production throughout my empire, which is really, really nice. And uh, <clears throat> we'd like to maybe get... Hydroelectric dams. I don't have a lot of dams in my empire as far as I remember, so that might not be totally worthwhile doing. Um, fly. It might be good to pick up food markets. Um, I definitely want to pick up stock exchanges. Now that we have access to power, we want to definitely power our stock exchanges. Let's have a look at our standing in terms of science. We are currently... Yeah, we are competitive on science, so that's good. Uh, we're a little behind, but we are competitive, which is the most important thing. Right, we are making so much money. Might be a good idea here. If I do... What we're going to do here is we're going to replace this with a farm later. Well, we could actually do it right now. That will hurt this tile, but since these are going to be lumber mill tiles, I think it's fine. We've got to kind of try and make uh, efficient decisions about how we structure our land. For example, what could this be? Alternatively, we could just keep these as farms and then switch them over to uh, something else. But this city is going to need food. It has a decent food surplus. But it's going to need food in the long run. Uh, we really need those neighborhoods to help keep our empire growing. We're going to find out just places where we can efficiently place a farm triangle. For example, right here, uh, we could efficiently place some farm triangles around. Or we could place an industrial zone right there. It's always an option.
Let's have a look at the Empire map mode. Where's the holy site? There's a holy site right here. So if I was to place this in Guba, where the hell would I put it? I want it to be beside a holy site and beside a river. That's currently not possible in this particular city. Uh, which is unfortunate. But you can have a look at those nice yields. Ooh. 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 Look at those yields, boys. Question is, do I put farms in here? Do I make a farm triangle here? I think I do. Kills two mines, but... Gives the city the growth it needs. Okay, we're purchasing a coal power plant next turn. Doing your little bit of exploration, eh? Coal power next turn. And then our empire is powered and we can start to make some differences in the world. Alright, so if we head over here to Gao, we're going to purchase the coal power plant. This is going to give us plus five bonus production. Eventually what we want to do is we want to put in the... Uh, actually, we're going to put it in right now. Industrial zone adjacency card. That's going to mean our power plants from coal are going to give us uh, a total of 10 production here. You can see that in the unit card. So I go ahead and update this. We're making 46 production in the city, which is a pretty damn good amount. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase the bank. Whoa. Purchase the bank in here. Then we're going to work on the stupa because I want the faith and stuff like that. Bam. Let's go ahead and get these things cleaned up. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a farm there. I want to make sure I'm using my land efficiently. Speaking of farms... This could be another farm triangle, but this city actually has plenty of growth. So I think we're fine for just spamming out mines here. So I make just a lot of automated decisions and I'm trying to make a conscious effort to make more considered decisions. Uh, basically decisions that make sense for the situation that I'm in. Because often what I do is I just, I know what is the best thing to do and I just kind of do that automatically. And I don't spend a whole lot of time thinking about what might actually be situationally a little bit better. And I just do like the on average best thing. Which generally speaking will win you games. Like I mean I pretty much win almost every game that I win. But I, I'm a little bit situation agnostic in the sense that I don't really consider... <clears throat> A small optimal decisions like maybe a farm triangle here would make sense which is what i've done over here for example right i've made the decision that this is actually better off as a farm triangle because i'm going to be getting forest and lumber mills here to make up for my production and this city already has plenty of gold and it, need, it lacks it lacks growth right we're going to have a neighborhood all that sort of stuff all right there's vilnius another city state that we found which is pretty good You can see we're actually making really, really good progress. World Congress earned double great merchant points. I'll put three points in that. Uh, double gold when trading with trade city states. Nobel Prize in physics. One uranium per turn per each university? Holy shit. For sure I want to do this. One oil per turn per each university. Oh my god. That's so OP. Great writers. People voted for great writer. Trade city state. I voted for that. Hell yeah. We'll be doing this emergency. Astronomy compels or yeah, whatever it is. All right, I'm going to call that the... Uh, I like how it makes the emergency noise, even though it's like, we're just a Nobel Prize. <laughs> uh, technology boost, uranium per turn. So we want to earn a lot of stuff, but I'm going to call that the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if one. Uh Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.